Okay, today we're going to show you how to build a computer. First, you need to get yourself a case. The little brass standoffs you see in there. kind of see them right there those are a big must got to be in the case so it's going to hold your board and keep it from being straight on the metal or slopping around you're going to want to get yourself a motherboard IO backplate goes up a little hole right there IDE cables Hard drive, processor, and diathlon. Ooh, a case a little scratched up. Got to have the RAM. Add on. Let's see, five twelves times two. Can't forget the DVD burner and sound card. So you kind of specialize a built in firewire port. Capture the video also. And last but not least, a power supply. So it's just kind of a used one, but it works. It's all about recycling, right? Okay, first things first, you're going to want to take your I.O. plate, or back plate, everybody calls it different stuff. <coughs> you're going to want to slide it into the hole right down here. Now the thing is to make sure where your motherboard is going to sit. Normally in most cases, the keyboard is going to be towards the top. That's these two little holes right here. So it's going to want to go in just like this, and they're real easy to do. Just snap in. Maybe if this thing doesn't want to turn into a lie. Side for right now. It's kind of a different bold board, older obviously. We'll run the DDR or the old SD RAM. Make sure to get it aligned. It's always going. Okay, got that CD-ROM that was hanging us up at the top here, it's used case. to show a visible hole. Nope. Well, I, you know, it, it, when you get 
to it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, the last thing you need to be doing is trying to put a computer together. I just happen to have a whole little container here for it. 